Good morning to you. Top of the morning. It's Sunday. It is half past nine and I thought I'd just have a little chat about what's going on. I'm going to a christening today. I'm going to the christening or the baptism. It all depends which way you look at it, whether you're left or right footed, of my granddaughter Imogen. Um, and, and it's a Catholic ceremony. Now, I, and you know, I went to a Catholic school, but wasn't a Catholic. They headhunted me to play football. And so going back into the Catholic religion today, it'd be uh, very interesting. And of course, next week, my son Charlie and Mariam get married, and uh, that's a Muslim ceremony. So it, it's like United Nations in my house at, at the moment. I lived in a Muslim country for a while, so I, it, it, I quite like some of the ceremonies and stuff that goes on. Don't like some of the other things that go on, obviously, but there's good and bad in everybody, isn't there? So let's just talk about a phone call I got yesterday. This is like a Dubai reunion. Uh, a couple of days ago, I went to Stevie Lamprell's house. Uh, it was a belated party that he had, and it, it was fabulous. A load of people from Dubai uh, came along, including my old friend Emma with, uh, with the red barnet. Uh, we had a good old laugh. Cherry and Gordon, they were all there, and it was a it was a blast from the past. Lovely. And then today, this morning, about half an hour ago, I get a phone call. It was a Dubai number. I thought, who's this? And I find it was my friend Ian Fairservice. Great name, isn't it? Ian Fairservice. Ian's did done very, very well for himself. It started off as a, a job doing anything that went and then ended up as a little boy scrubbing pans and peeling potatoes. And now he, uh, he runs a big publishing company and owns a string of restaurants, fantastic restaurants. One that he has uh, in England called Maine. Uh, and it's in Hanover Square and it is a fabulous, fabulous restaurant. And we spoke about that uh, a minute ago and he said, the problem is, Jim, he said, we can't get the staff. I said, well, that seems to be a common problem at the moment. Why is it? Well, he said the Eastern Europeans and the Europeans are not allowed to come here and work. I said, well, they are allowed, aren't they? No, he said, it takes so much fucking about to get a visa and God knows what. And, and he said, these stats, okay, this is Ian, who's a great restaurateur and a power one, I believe it. There are three vacancies for every unemployed person in the, in the catering industry. I mean, they, they cannot get the work. So we need to get the Europeans back and we need to cut this red tape. If we have 100,000 people coming in from God knows where illegally, surely, surely we can legally fast track people back for what I think is a vital industry. You know, we, you, you can't have, you're going to have catering for tourists. It generates the industry. So, so. Quasi Quatang, are you listening to this? Or Nigel, Nigel Farage. Now here's the thing, Nigel, you and I are mates, and you will understand this. I'm a great believer in Brexit, and Brexit to me was great. But Ian is saying, well, because of Brexit, we can't do this. Now, I don't know if Ian was a Remainer or a Brexiteer, but even the Remainers and now saying, told you so, we should change this, told you so, and the Brexiteers are going, well, Brexit's okay, but where's my fucking omelette? This is what's going on. Is there any way, Quasi, can we fast track, Liz Truss, can we fast track people into this country to do vital work? Yes, we need doctors, surgeons, and, you know, good to a little less Uber drivers, but we need people in the catering industry. Can we sort this? Will someone get in touch with me? It's very, very important. And Ian and I laughed their heads off. Ian's a, a subscriber to Ustream, obviously, because he's a mate. And he said the thing on the news really made him laugh out loud. I told him to watch Left, Right and Centre when I was pissed on it. Episode 8. Check it out. Anyway, he said, I didn't realise your boat was called Princess Mitchie. And as you know, folks, Princess Mitchie, she's out the water on sticks at the moment to have a, her shaft done. It needs a bearing. So he said, you imagine you're me and you're listening to you on Ustream News saying, and Mitchie's, uh, Mitchie's a bit under the weather. We've had to shove a camera down there. <laughs> and she's trouble with her shaft. We've got to get a bearing up the shaft. <laughs> so poor old Mitchie's getting the good news up the shaft. Ian, relax. It's just the boat. And my friends at Osmotech are trying to work out how we can get that shaft out and get the bearing in. First of all, we've got to lift the boat up high enough to get the shaft out. We can't do that. Why? Oh, health and safety. We're not allowed this in NDL. There you go. So a good old day. Enjoy yourself, folks. And well done, Paul McCartney. I hear you smashed it out of the park. Well done, mate. I've, uh, I've met 
Paul McCartney once, he was all right. I was a bit worried because he's famous and from Liverpool, you know, he can be a bit pushy then boys, can't they? But he was very, very great. Uh, and congratulations, there's life in us old dogs yet. Have a lovely Sunday. I'm off to the christening my beautiful granddaughter, Imogen, and see the, the old family. My ex-wife will be there with, with Dave, her new husband, and we get on great, all of us. We're all growing up now. We've got the long trousers on. Have a good day. Nomine Patrofilio Spiritus Sancti. Never leaves you.